Alright, hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Crispina. Well, today is not, but hopefully, if I can do this on time, it is going to be St. Patrick's Day. So, I played around with my greens, gold, and orange, and brown. And real earthy, but really wanted to get the green in there. This video is a little bit more focused on eyeshadow rather than a full face, but everything I use will be down below in my description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. My channel just now hit 200 subscribers and that's a lot for me, so I'm happy. So happy 200 subscribers as well. Before filming, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Brow Powder in Dark Brown and a BH Cosmetics B10 brush to fill in my brows. And then I outlined them with the NYX 18 brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And uh, sorry, at the beginning of the video, I was oil pulling with coconut oil. That's why my mouth was moving like that. Next, I outlined the bottom of my brow with the e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner Brush. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal in 20 Light. And I just used the most product at the end of my brow and slowly working my way in. And I used this concealer um, for the top and bottom of my eyebrows. And so just repeating the same process on top of my eyebrows and just defining them a little bit more. Then using that same concealer on my eyelid, I'm using that for the base for my eyeshadow. I'll be applying with a flat Beauty's Factory brush. Going into my BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, I'm using this orange shade Hippie and this BH Cosmetics, uh, I, I can never find the brush set, I think it's called the Eagle Tools set, this is just a blending brush, but I'm using that and I'm stamping on the eyeshadows, and then I did like another layer where I start blending it in going back and forth. Next, I'm just wiping off the excess powder from that brush and picking up my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and using the orange shade to buff out the edges of my crease. I blended the eyeshadow really high in this because in this look, I'm going to cut my crease really high. Going back in the Zulu palette, I'm using the brown shade and on a Beauty Accents eyeshadow blending brush and I'm doing exactly what I did with the orange shade, extending it from the tail of my brow to the inside of my brow. And then once I pat the eyeshadow in, I start blending out and then I just go through a series of alternating with those two brushes and just stamping the eyeshadow on and blending it out. And I apologize, my voice is going out. Okay, so after that's blended, I'm going in on a flat Beauty Factory synthetic brush and some more of the Maybelline Master Conceal and 20 Light. And I'm just kind of like where the round of my eye is, if that makes sense. I'm cutting my crease, but just a little bit higher than it usually is because I wanted everyone to be able to see the eyeshadow even when my eyes were open. I started by using this Makeup Forever like green like uh, individual shadow on a flat Beauty's Factory brush and I just didn't like it so I went in my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and picked up the green sparkly shade and put it on like the, the second fourth of my eye or the third fourth of my eye I guess if you're thinking from the inner corner if that makes sense. Next, on another flat brush, but I'm going back in the Weekend Festival palette and using the shade Magical for the inner fourth of my eye. And then going in in the Morph Jaclyn Hill Bring the Alarm palette, I'm using the shade On Camera for the darker golden shade. Then using a BH Cosmetics It's My Ray Ray brush, I blended the two shades together. Then I went inside my Nika K palette and I used the darkest green shade they had. But it wasn't dark enough, so I used like mossy brown color that was in the palette. And I'm doing all this using an e.l.f. blending brush. 
To highlight my brow and my inner corner, I use the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics palette, the highlighter Moonlight, because it's like a bright golden shade. All right, so this is the finished look that I did. I tried on, uh, this is a Lorac lipstick. It's called Flower, Ch Flower Child, and I didn't like it, but I like rubbed it off and then put a little bit of lip gloss on it and blotted, and this is outcome, so I think I'm gonna wear this, because I'm about to go to work, so I feel like this is more appropriate than a full-blown lip color for work. But yeah, thank you for watching, and before you know it, I'll be back with another video.